Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you something really amazing. So here's my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus right over here, completely and fully linked to my Windows PC. All right, so I'm going to show you how to get this done in a second. But real quick, let me show you as I interact with the phone over here, the changes actually occur in the actual screen. And as you can see right over here, I can access all the photos, messages, notifications, and of course the phone screen in preview, as you can see right here, right on my Windows PC. And all this is done completely wirelessly. So I can have my phone on the table, and I could be doing some kind of work on my PC and have full access to all the essentials on my smartphone. And of course over here, I have a keyboard and a mouse, and they're also available to be used with this entire interface right here. So I can even pull the notifications panel down right over here. Same thing happens over here, okay? So when I pull this up by clicking here, same thing happens over here. If I go over here and launch the Play Store, that's gonna work here as well. And if I go into the Play Store, and if I wanna search something, I can just type it right here. So let's search something. Let's type in PO, see what comes up, Pokemon. So if I click on that, I can in fact install and everything is being mirrored on my actual phone and the good news is everything is going two way back and forth so basically if I had to press the button over here take a look at that that's the phone screen if I press this button this one goes home as well so everything I'm doing on my phone on the actual table is happening on the actual PC which is absolutely fantastic I'll show you one more thing over here if I go to the photos I can see all the photos on my actual smartphone. So if I go to my smartphone here, if I launch the gallery, okay, you'll see those photos right over here, the photos that I just took earlier. So the, the same photos are appearing right over here. So that's great as well. Other thing I can do is I can access my messages right over here, and I can respond to all these messages as I please. So I can go in here, I can click here, and actually using the keyboard, I can start to type in, uh, whatever I want and I can send from here and again everything reflects on the actual smartphone now when you f uh, send a text message for the first time from your Windows PC on your phone you'll see this message right over here you're gonna click remember my choice and you're gonna say always allow and that makes sure that every time I send a text message on my Windows PC it's gonna occur on the actual smartphone. And finally, the other thing you can do is you can go into the notifications right over here, and you have access to all the notifications that show up on your notifications window. So if I go over here right now, uh, let me go home. Okay, I'm using a mouse, that's amazing. Uh, if I pull this down, all the notifications that you're seeing over here will be showing up in the notifications right over here and you can always click refresh to see if there's anything new that's happening same with the photos over here you can actually click on refresh uh, if you take new photos you can quickly do a refresh and they're going to pop right over here so this is absolutely fantastic now i will let you know how to set this up right now but before I do that, I'll let you know, no other phone can do the phone screen option, okay? So this one right over here, let me just pull that up. So this uh, phone screen preview is exclusive to the Note 10 Plus. I have a Samsung Galaxy uh, S10 Plus right over here. With that one, you can do photos, you can do messages, you can do notifications, but you cannot do the actual uh, phone screen in preview as you can see now let me show you how to set this amazing feature up all right so first here's what you need to do on your actual windows pc simply go to the search bar at the bottom and search for microsoft store and then go into the microsoft store and when you go to microsoft store simply search for the your phone application okay so your phone app and then click on this button and then when you come up to this window here, mine has already been installed. All you wanna do is click install or get. And once you have installed this application, I want you guys to go ahead and launch it. When you launch it, this is the screen that you are gonna see, okay? And of course, as far as Note 10 Plus is concerned, this is all you have to do on the end of the computer. Now, if you do have a Samsung Galaxy S10, S9, or any other Android phone, you can click this button and follow instructions. 
but you have the Note 10 Plus, this is all you need to do. The only other extra step you might have to take is to log into your Microsoft account. So this whole process does require a Microsoft account. Anyway, let's switch over to my phone and show you the next steps. All right, so in your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, all you wanna do is you wanna pull down the notifications panel and pull one more time to bring up the actual control panel. And in the control panel, I want you guys to take a look at the link to Windows option. If it's not on the first page, just swipe over, it'll be somewhere over here. So you wanna uh, click on link to Windows option. So let me click on link to Windows option. And what's gonna happen is, it is gonna allow me to start connecting my phone to my Windows PC in fact enabled right now but there's also a couple other things you do have to do uh, you want to press and hold on link to windows option okay you want to press and hold it'll take you into the full detail settings i'll let you know that you can also go to the settings over here uh, that was just one way to access it uh, you can go to the settings right over here you can go into the advanced features right over here and you can also go to the link to windows option from here so from here you want to make sure that you log into your microsoft account so i'm going to click on this one I'm going to actually log in to my Microsoft account and that's going to start the linking process. So let me do that right now. I'll be right back after I dump in my credentials. So as you can see, I just logged in and now what's going to happen is it's saying to reconnect, open the, the Your Phone app on your PC. So here's my PC. That's the exact same place I just left the application. I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to uh, X this out. Okay. I'm going to go back over here. And I'm going to just type your phone. That's the phone application. Just like the phone says, it says open the your phone app on your PC. So I am going to click on that. And this time what's going to happen is it's going to pop right up. Saki 10 plus is the name of my smartphone. So everything is happening right here. So if I go to the photos, it says check your phone. So let's take a look at our phone. I'm checking the phone right over here. Uh, over here, we have something in my notifications. And what you want to do is you want to allow this phone to connect to your phone app on the desktop. So I'm going to click on that. Click allow. Okay. Boom. Everything shows up on the spot. So everything is right here. My photos, as I showed you in the beginning of the video, I can access each individual photo, as you can see. Okay. I can even grab one of these guys and actually dump it onto my desktop, which is great. Okay, so I can transfer files onto my desktop right from the actual gallery application, which is really good. The only thing you cannot see here are the videos. I wish that was available, but right now we can only do the photos. Now here we have the messages as I've talked about. Then we have the notifications as I also talked about. And then you have the phone screen in preview. You can click on this and it's gonna connect to your phone. Right now it is unlocked. I'm gonna log, log into my phone and boom, we are right here. And on the phone, again, you can do everything, okay? You can access the folders, you can access your uh, apps, you can pull this down, go to the settings, make some tweaks as you desire. Again, you go to advanced features, you go to the uh, link to Windows, and here's where you configure all the uh, link to Windows options on your actual smartphone. You can turn this off anytime you want, don't want to do that right now, okay? So let's go back home. Even look at this. This is great. I'm using my mouse to control everything. All right. And one more thing I want to show you guys is so uh, basically you can click this button and that's going to expand the screen if you just want to work with the screen. But at the bottom here, you also have settings. So in this settings, you can modify all these options. And this is the window side of the settings. So you can allow this app to show photos from my phone or unallow it. Uh, with the messages, you have all these options, all right? If you go down, and if you go down right over here, you can see the phone screen. Allow this app to display my phone screen. So that's the option that enables this. Remember, this is exclusive to the Note 10 Plus, at least right now. And then over here, you have all these other options that you can take a look at, all right? So just want to give you a full tour uh, in case you don't have the Note 10 Plus, but you want to see what's happening. But if you do have the Note 10 Plus, just set it up and you're good to go. As long as you have a Windows PC, this does not work with the Mac. Again, at least for now. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, drop it down below and let me know. Let me know if you do have the Note 10 Plus and what do you think about the link to Windows feature? Is this going to be a good productivity tool for you or not and of course make sure to watch the other video where samsung galaxy note 10 plus 
can use the dex mode on the actual windows pc as well that is also something no other phone can do right now all right guys have a fantastic day